and she'll be in there and she'll have little attendants in there. There'll probably be maybe five of them. Um, and it's a really good time to notice what she looks like. I was fascinated by the way that the queen and the workers and the drones all interact to make a community that they then support year in and year out. The combined efforts of every bee, even though there's multiple generations every year of bees, uh, they work very hard and it was, that's a fascinating thing. I love watching the way they work and the way that they work together. Okay, so those are all female bees, and they're called worker bees, and they're repairing that frame, and they're getting it ready so that the queen will come lay. They've actually put a little honey in it. Their first job is to be a nurse bee, and they look after the brood, they look after the queen, and then they move on, and some of them, as they develop, they may become housekeepers, and they go in and out and clean up all the cells. And then after that, the very last thing they do become foragers and they go out and get the honey and the pollen or the nectar and the pollen and bring it back. The honeybees do the majority of the work as far as pollination goes. So what, what makes bees so good at pollinating, don't cross-pollinate. Bees will stay on one particular flower. If you hold it up to the light, you can see one looks a little darker than the other. Mm -hmm. This one is the poplar, and this one would be the sourwood. Because our season starts about mid-May and goes into July, and then there's a lull, and then there's some in August and September, but usually you leave that for the bees to build up their store for the winter. 80% of all the honey in this country come from either India or Vietnam. Only 20% is domestic honey, which is kind of shocking. Honeybees pollinate 35% of all the fruits and vegetables. If they can't survive in the environment that we're creating, they're, they're not creating it, no. Human beings are doing this. As we replace forest lands, just general acreage, with concrete and pavement that we're removing habitat for the bees and we're removing forage opportunities for the bees. So you have to go to farmer's markets, you have to find a beekeeper to buy local honey. They, they want to produce a quality product, they want to provide pollinators for their gardens. I was reading an article recently about not everybody needs to be a beekeeper to help bees and in fact unless you really know what you're doing and really invest the time and effort um, into it, um, that will not necessarily save the bee population. Many bees don't sting you, the drones don't sting you, and a lot of times the queens you know, don't sting you, um, and the workers don't want to sting you. They need to be able to eat a variety of nectar sources and pollen sources to be as healthy as possible. So knowing that, uh, and knowing that we lose so much acreage every year due to development, what people can do in their yards is to plant uh, plants that are bee friendly. You take a jar of honey and you go and tell them your plight, and, and most people are more than willing to go ahead and do whatever they can. Just seeing them grow, you know, more and more bees and just amazing what they do and how they adapt. Like, we need more beekeepers because the bees aren't going to survive without our help. So right here, yeah, you can go out and put honeybees from almost anywhere. And as far as the government is concerned, the USDA, if you want to put honeybees in your backyard and call that a farm, they're more than happy to have you. They're, 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 the government realizes how badly we need to protect our honeybees and to, uh, to make a, a better environment for them. And uh, so uh, they're doing everything they can to encourage uh, the normal person having bees. Beekeeping is a constant learning experience. Fortunately, North Carolina has the largest state beekeeping association in the country.
Yeah, so we need to do what we can to go ahead and, and reverse things. And everybody does a little bit.